Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta Episode. So, we left off, Maxi was about to get jumped by Zinnia, so we're gonna go save him. But let's go see what's going on. So, we gotta head over to the base, which is over here. This is where having Phoebus will be useful. Organize boxes. Alright, Shellgun, I love you, buddy, but you gotta stay here for a little bit. And out we go. Caves we go. Let's see what's going on at Team Magma's hideout. Oh god. Th that trainer with the black bobbed hair. She was incredibly strong. But beyond but our leader is beyond the room full of four panels. It's not easy to get there. A woman with a whismer is inside. What 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 type what is that dragon type Pokemon user? Her strength is really something. By chance, is she stronger than Maxi? Good lord, I can't read today. Ooh. Alright, so we gotta go find Maxi. Which means we gotta go through these portals again. Yay! I don't even remember how I did it the first time. I don't even care about you guys right now. I'm gonna just have to guess and check. Oh, what? If you wanna get to the... So there's a new battle I have to go through? Magma Grunt? Or is this somebody that I just skipped the last time? Let me let me see this. Is this somebody I skipped? Because if it's somebody I skipped, then it's gonna be really embarrassing. Okay, no, it's not. It's actually somebody new. Okay. Training kiss. I thought I was just gonna be able to walk through here. I guess I'm wrong. Alright, that heals me up. Nice, thank you. ignore you because I don't want to I don't really feel like battling everybody earlier today so we're gonna just move right on mm, ahead I can't stand everybody just pushing right past me well then turn around faster I guess buddy how much I could help you with there Another draining kiss. Um, 
Um, is it this one? I don't remember if it's this one or the portal that's below it. No, so it is the portal below it. So he's in the room with the master. But we have to go this way, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I remember this. It's this one. The next one. The next one. Skip that one, and it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Huh. All right, and the winner is Zinnia. Peter Maxi, please compose yourself. Uh, the great Maxi has fallen to this woman? Uh-oh, what's this? Aren't you a happy girl, Aster? Just what I expected, my daughter. We're so in sync. Woman, who are you? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. I couldn't become who I was supposed to be, so what does that make me now? Haha, <laughs> whatever, right? Enough with the introspection and soul searching. You there, a tomb. Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come over and say hi. Could it be? The child? You. Why are you here? Isn't it obvious? He's the hero, right? He's here to save the world again. Oops, but it looks like he's just a little bit too late this time. If only he had been here just one minute earlier. You! Oh, and there goes the keystone. L leader? All right, I'd say this keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Aster. Mer? Now we can do it. The summoning. We'll summon Rayquaza. Well then, looks like my job here is done. So, don't mind me while I excuse myself. Oh, a tomb? I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We'll be heading to that ancient power, the ancient tower sealed since primal times, the Sky Pillar. If you don't know what that is, well, ask the former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. See you there. But you see, I already know what it is because I might have gone there on accident. But, but, what's going on here? Who does she think she is, messing up our base and then giving us the slip? That can never be forgiven. Now I see. Yes, it was not chance that brought you here. This is inevitable. Leader? Tabitha, give it to her. Wh what did you say? I is that all right? Yes. Now that the keystone has been stolen, a megastone serves me no purpose. Acknowledged. All right, and now we got the camera up height. Camera up height. Make sure your camera up holds onto it tightly. I do not have the power now to use Mega Evolution, so I entrust it to you. I entrust it believing that this is the best action I can take now. That woman. She had such utter mastery over her Dragon-type Pokemon. There's more to her than meets the eye. I do not know what must be going through her mind, but I think you may be the only one who can stand against her now. So, I ask this favor of you. Rage! Take up this fight for me and bring this crisis to its resolution! Entry call. Alright. Atum, are you alright? Is that right? I never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Draconid people. So that's it. I'm beginning to see the line connecting these dots. I think we need to meet up once we discuss what we should do next. I'll be waiting at the Space Center, up on the second floor. Do hurry. Alright, back to the Sky Pillar we go. Or, Sky Pillar. The... thing. Uh, back to, uh, the museum. Alright, and we go up this way. Go up. Okay, so just beating her and all that leaves, makes the grunts leave, I guess. Boom. Alright, so there shouldn't be a grunt here anymore, right? Awesome. What about these guys? Are they gone? Oh, so two of them were for battling. Hmm. It's a good thing I ran right past you guys. Alright, so now we go this way. All the way out the hideout. I wish they would have just teleported you there. That would have been great. Instead of doing all this mess. I shouldn't have to travel back and forth like this. I'm the champion, goddammit. All right, Eon Flute once more. Boom. All right, 
back at Master Gear. See what Steven knows. Hey, Steve Arino. A tomb. I've been expecting you. Ah, that's it. That woman, that Zinnia, she mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it, only the successors of the ancient world who know what it has been. The lore keepers who are tasked with passing that knowledge on to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace whom you met in Sutopolis? Yeah, of course. Is that right? That's a relief. The gym leader of Sutopolis, Wallace, should know what, how to undo the seal in the Sky Pillar's entrance. He's also one of the few humans who have inherited such lore. I will remain here and work with the professor as his team devised a plan for what to do next. That woman, Zinnia. I cannot put my faith in her. We will think of a new way to stop the meteorite on our own. Zinnia and the Sky Pillar, I will leave them in your hands. I will send a message to Wallace for you so he knows to help. You'll probably find him in the Cave of Origins in Sutopolis. Teleport me there! Don't make me- Ugh, I guess I gotta go there myself then. Here we go again. Now you might be thinking, Oh, well why don't you just teach somebody how to fly? Well, because I hate HMs. HMs are the worst, I hate having HM slaves in my party. They suck, and this is why I like Sun and Moon better. Because you don't have to waste any HMs at all. You got Pokemon that already know the stuff on their own. Was it a dumb gimmick? Yes, but did it make using HMs a lot more fun? Oh, yes. Hmm. All right, so if he's in the cave, that means I gotta go to this side. Why couldn't Wallace be there? Why couldn't you call Wallace ahead of time? You knew that it was about the Sky Pillar and all this stuff already, so why? Why you make me do this? I I, I see what you do in Nintendo. You're just padding out your post-game content, pretending like it actually has something. Cause like there's like maybe an hour if you really wanted to speed run this. It's just back and forth talking and walking. What a glorious turn of events. Is it really? <laughs> Is it really? To think that this tree... I never knew we had received it from a huge man that villaged it from the Kalos region. Goodness me, old master. This has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. <laughs> you're too kind, Master Wallace. <laughs> no, 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 you're much too modest. <laughs> now then. Welcome again to Sutopolis, our new champion, Atu. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to the Sky Pillar? It is true that the cave that leads to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Sutopolis, as indeed I am, or by one of the Draconids who have also lived in Hoenn since the ancient times. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for ascension of Rayquaza, the legendary Pokemon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconid people knew how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Steven told me of that woman Zinnia. She must be trying to revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. Yep, I already know where it is, but why don't you take me there? I'm ready to go now, my dude. Now I gotta fly there again. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Alright, come on. Mega Latios exists. We're flying away. We're, where's Pacific Log Town? There it is. Oh hey, well, I see that. I see them sparkles. What is, what is that? What is the sparkles? I, I want to go get it. Hold on. First, let me go get the sparkles. Then we can go find out what uh, what stuff is over there. A Kangaskhanite. <laughs> A Pokemon you can't even find in this region. Okay. At least I don't think so. Not naturally, anyway. 
I think you find it post game or after the primal reversion of Groudon and all that. Since that's when Pokemon from other regions start appearing. Alright, avoid you. Avoid that. No, I did not mean to battle. Alright, fine. Let me kick your butt real quick. Herman. Alright, let's go, Verna. Magical Leaf. At least this Vakona is, you know, the original. Definitely nowhere near as powerful as the one from, uh, Disgaea. Alright. Mmm, questionable switch now that I think about it. I don't think you have any electric type moves, do you? Okay, Intimidate. That's not fun. I'm gonna crunch and hope for the best. Yep, didn't think so. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Rock slide, maybe? Oh, you're water flying. Never mind, I lied. It did a lot. I'm drunk. I don't know what my typing things are anymore. That works. Whatever. Alright, Thievus level 31. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Thanks, awesome, thanks, bye. I don't care about any of this. Let's just, uh, head up this way, and we're here. Alright, before I do that, let me heal up. I just realized you fainted. Do I not have any revives at all? Uh, ooh, this is not good at all, actually. Hmm. And I don't have... Okay, this is... Alright, whatever. YOLO, right? Thanks, Wallace, for ditching me, you jerk. We'll go beyond this point, one more trial. I have to battle you? Come on. Whatever, let's go. Come on. Time to beat down your water types again. Topolitan Wallace. That is a big boy. That is a big hefty boy. Magical Leaf. Ooh, heavy slam. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, moldy. Okay, oh, that's not good. Alright, so this is your time to shine, buddy. Mega Drain. There we go. And it was great. Nice. Good work there. Oh no, not Milotic. Thank god there's no Mega Milotic for this. I wish there was. There should be. Nintendo dropped the ball. Like, there should have been a Mega Flygon and a Mega Milotic, two of the most popular Pokemon of this generation. And they don't get Mega Evolutions. And then Wallace has the Milotic, and then the guy that we met that gave us a secret base, he has a Flygon. Why not give us two good Mega Evolutions? Almost everybody else got a Mega Evolution. And it's like, why not? Like, you don't goof. You got, like, all these cool trainers that have Mega Evolutions and not the two most popular Pokemon of the region. Like, I don't know a single person that when they played... Ooh, Jesus Christ. That when they played this region, like, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, whether it was the original or the remakes, that didn't have a Trapinch in their party or a Phoebus in their party. Because that's just how popular they were. Hmm, this is a problem now. Hopefully Walt seals me after this, because uh, if he doesn't, I'm in a bit of a pickle. And I will have to go back to the game. Alright, Raiju, bring it on. Alright, we're gonna do this into Dragon Rush. Long-winded transformation sequence! Oh. The Mega Raiju. 
Did you see Solar Beam on me? Oh, that's Skull. Oh. Yikes. Oh, no. And I got burned. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this is actually really bad. I might not be able to win this battle. Oh, no. That's, that's a problem. Huh. Rock slide? Ice beam, you dick. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Alright, Phoebus, you're gonna have to hold on for like two seconds. Oh, this is so not good. This is so not cash money. Energy ball. Oh, my lord. I am so sorry, Phoebus. You're down. I came in there a little too hot headed. I thought. I <laughs> oh, I thought I could handle this. I guess I was very wrong. Sky Africa. Let me let me just hope for the best. Ooh, ooh, this might be it. Oh my God, Cell. Is it is it the reverse sweep? Oh no, not intimidate. No, not like this. All right, Cell, you got this. You got this. You got this. Reverse sweep. Reverse sweep. Ice Fang. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. Effects go. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, oh, this might be it. Oh, Mega Drain. Heal yourself up, baby. Heal yourself up. That did nothing. Oh my lord. Oh man. Oh no. If he wakes up and he ice, if he ice fangs me again, I'm gonna die. Don't wake up. Just don't wake up. One more turn. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Seed bump. This should kill him. This should kill him. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, Cell with the reverse sweep. Oh, wait. It's the reverse sweep. I did it. Mega Drain. Goodbye. Just goodbye. Oh no. Okay, he lives. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Hang in there. One turn. Rock Tomb. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Reverse sweep. We did it. We did it. Good lord. Yes, sell. Yes, 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 We did it. Oh man, that that was a turn. That was a beautiful turnaround. Good job, Cell. Wallace, you better freaking heal me for this. You better heal me after that. To defeat me, a descendant of ancient Sutopolis people. And even when I was holding nothing back. Boy, <laughs> I handicapped you really hard, and I still won. Heal me, heal me, heal me. I don't care what you're saying. Heal me, heal me, heal me, you bastard. Heal me, you bastard. You better have, you better have healed me. You better. Oh my. Mm. Now I gotta go fly back again. Wallace, I hate you and your BS. At least when May battles me, she heals me. You are an ass. Oh. Alright, we're, we're going. We're going. Not that way. There. Here's where we're going. We're healing. We're going back to the tower. And we're gonna see what's up. Because that's some bull. Alright, yes, heal me, please. Oh, sweet mercy, heal me. Thank you. Alright, there we go. And we're off. Sky Pillar. Hopefully I don't get interrupted again. 
All right, up we go. Zinnia. So you came for me. Thanks for that. You seriously slow clapping me right now? That's really good, Atum. I really feel it right here. Mm-hmm. Since you've been a good boy, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Look. The paintings that cover the walls of this tower? See, these are the history of humanity, of Pokemon, and of nature itself. These are tales that have been passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years. And now I will pass that history and lore on to you. Thousands of years ago, in the primal age long lost, the worlds were overflowing with natural energy. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre fought over that energy, endless, furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kyogre's power, the people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. It was in such a time that many of the great meteoroids poured in from the darkness of space, from a place even higher than the heavens. And the meteoroids fell in their multitude upon a waterfall that had been hidden and long been home to a tribe of dragon-type Pokemon users. I am reading this absolutely horribly. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. I'll tell you the next story on the next floor. Look forward to it. Uh, okay. I, I, I guess we're gonna follow her. Oh, here you are. Let me continue. It's finally time for chapter two. Here we go. <laughs> I last, right? <laughs> I know you're thrilled. The meteor is shown in a rainbow brilliance as if some great life was held within. That was when, as if drawn by the brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in a blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza. Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of the primal two primal Pokemon and peace returned to the world. The people of Hoenn revered Rayquaza as a true savior. A thousand years after this time, the meteoroids once again fell. A huge meteoroid, far greater than ever before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean and leaving behind a giant crater larger than any other. The land born of this event later became known as Sutopolis. The Sutopolis was born because of a meteorite. And that's it, chapter two is over. But we've only just left the starting line. There's a long way yet, don't fall behind now. All right, what's up now? Oh, crap. Okay. Ooh, an Ariados. I love these spider boys, but I must leave. Ariados, you're not important enough for me to catch right now. Now our tale reaches the best part. Zootopolis was born from a great meteoroid strike. The Great Meteoroid was one of the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it, and a great welling of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon once again woke. The people had a wish, a memory from a thousand years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in emerald light would appear once again. The huge meteorite that lay in the heart of Sutopolis gave off a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, the vast its in its brilliance it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it came in the heavens. The people fell to their knees before Rayquaza and made a wish for salvation. As they did, a great change came over the legendary Pokemon. It was enveloped in a blinding light. As the light receded, they beheld the Rayquaza beyond all knowledge. A sublime, incandescent figure with overwhelming life force. It was humanity's wish that brought about Rayquaza's transformation in the face of the Rainbow Stone. Yes, a wish, an intangible thing invisible to the eye. Yet this wish was bound people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to change its appearance. Doesn't it remind you of something? That's right, it kinda sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? So there's a Mega Rayquaza. That's a thing.
I don't feel like battling you guys. Oh, it's a clay doll now. Okay. Oh, here's the thing, clay doll. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm not battling you. I love how the tower is now in the shape of a triangle. And how did the story end? After being transformed by the wish of the people, did Rayquaza save them from disaster? Well, yeah, we're here. Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. The golden filaments that sprang from its body covered the sky. An emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind rose. The wind and emerald lights visibly sapped the power from Primal Groudon and Kyogre. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of the land and sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelled. A witness to this event said a tall visitor of the distant land said it is the Delta, born of great disturbances in the world. By the bonds born of mankind's wish and the power of the stones, it will calm the troubles that plague the world. That was when the great Draconids constructed their great tower to hold the rainbow stone that held and granted Rayquaza its power, and to try to get it a little bit closer to Rayquaza in the heavens above. To record the history of their trials and the great feats of the mighty Rayquaza for all to know, they left behind the murals you see here. God, I cannot read today. A giant tower and paintings of the past. You know, it feels like something like that recently. <laughs> But now, I suppose it's time for the last chapter in our tale. Oh, come on. I literally stopped to go save, you jerk. I'm leaving. I want to deal with you right now. Alright, we're going to save here. Thank you. At last, we reach the final chapter. A thousand years of peace followed for after that disastrous time. But the Draconid people, learning from their long history cyclical nature, foretold that the meteoroids would fall on this land once again. The meteoroid to come, they prophesied, would be far greater than those that had come before it. The meteoroid would be sh enough to break the world forever. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived at a plan. Their plan was to invoke Rayquaza, the great savior, and summon it to this land before the meteoroid could strike. And that's it. That's the end of our, of the Draconid's tale. I spent a long time thinking of how I could protect the happiness of as many people as possible. What I must do as one who holds both the knowledge and the power. One who bears the heavy wishes of those who could not live up to that fate. Well, I had to be really creative, you know. You know what? I'm actually save right here instead. Just in case, cause I don't want to get stuck in a chain battle, cause I I remember how this goes. Yeah, nope. I'm I'm at to cut the episode right about here. Yep, we're gonna save Oh god, Jesus. Never mind, I guess we're gonna be stuck in cutscenes. See that Aster? You always wanted to watch them, right? The Litlinoids. A million glittering stars falling from the sky. The show is about to start. Aren't we happy now? Yes, that we could be together, dear Aster. <laughs> Welcome to the Dragon Hark Altar. A tomb? You know what I'm about to what I'm trying to do here now, don't you? That's right. I will summon Rayquaza to this world and destroy the meteoroid headed for heaven. Hoenn. Oh, heaven, jeez. That is... It is our duty. Ever since I was a little girl, I always turned my eyes up to the sky. When I was so full of uncertainty, I, I felt my heart might be crushed by it. When I was so grief-stricken and alone, I thought my heart might break of it. I turned and looked up there so that my tears would never, ever fall. What about you? 
Have you ever had to do something like that? Um, we're just gonna say yes. Right. I used to watch the stars like this all the time. Together with Aster. We were always together, in good times and in bad. I loved her. I loved her with everything I had. But I still lost her. <laughs> I want to see her. I want to be with her again. My sweet Aster. Oh. I will, won't I? With this, just a little longer. So it's either her mom or her sister that's another person named Aster. That's a touching story. Guess I should say good morning. You slept well, didn't you? You look so adorable when you sleep. Sorry about the whole knocking you out thing. Oh, Jesus, I was wondering how it got to daylight. Enough. I think it's time I gave it a shot. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. If something happens to me, please, take this little one. Okay. Here I go. The jewel bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed. Through sacred rite, in thy great sight, my life as well I offer. The keystones that Zinnia holds are giving off a blinding light. I summon thee to aid this flight and save us from disaster. Realize them upon this world. For this do I summon thee. Rayquaza! I did it! <laughs> I did it! Now the world will be saved. Aster! Aster, I did it! Great Rayquaza, hear my wish. Achieve your mega evolution. Take hold of your true power. Show me your true face. The Rayquaza that will save this planet. Zinnia's keystone does not react. Huh? How can this be? I gathered all the keystones that could withstand your great power. And summoned you here. You you came. And yet, why? Come on, do it! Mega Evolve! Why? Why won't you? Zinnia's keystone does not react. What? It can't be. The one without enough power is you, Rayquaza? The meteorites that should- wait. The meteorites that should lie within Rayquaza's great body aren't enough? Have these powers- have these thousand years drained them of your power? Their power? Blah blah blah, English? This can't be. I can't. I- I- everything I've done till now. Aster, I can't, I can't take anymore. A tomb's meteorite suddenly began to glow. Conveniently, I still had that. That's... Feed the big snake boy a rock. The glow of a tomb's meteorite grew even stronger. That meteorite! It's just like a mega stone! Okay, yeah, so he just ate the rock.
Light is spilling forth from within Rayquaza's body. Whoa! Swollen meteorites allows it to store as much power as a megastone. Your meteorites summon forth the power needed for Rayquaza to mega evolve. It's amazing! A tomb! Rayquaza is trying to build up power. It wants you to take. It wants its. It wants power for itself for it to take you on. Blah! 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 Let me try that again. Rayquaza is trying to build up power. It wants power for itself to take you on. Use everything you've got and win over Rayquaza. You have to master it. This is the legendary Pokemon that Hoenn views as our great protector. And the only one who can direct it now is you. You have to do this. You have to do this. You have to. Well, we're going to do that next time, ladies and gents. I am not ready for that battle yet. Like, that that's a lot of pressure. So we're going to save that for next time, everybody. I hope to catch you all here next time on Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta episode where we take on Rayquaza, the god of the skies, and hopefully save the world. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby, everyone. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you leave a comment down in the below. Down in the description. I'm tired. But yeah, leave a description down below. I will catch you all here next time. Have a great and wonderful day.